Hey everybody, welcome to The Breakthrough with Mia Mendez. And as I said, today I would like to shed some light on a very good friend of mine, crazy guy. He is writer, producer, director, Jamal Hill. Hey. hey. What's going on? How are you? Don't get all calm. I know, right? Don't get all calm. <laughs> He is out of control, <laughs> but um, I definitely wanted to bring you on the show, so thank you for taking the time. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. you've had a busy month of October, oh right? Oh my God, busy isn't the word. Yeah. I saw you put on Instagram that um, you're finally feeling back to yourself. Yeah. Um, what was the past month for you like, and tell everybody what you've been doing. Well, I've been shooting my feature film, Brotherly Love, and uh, it's just been a wild ride. It's my first real studio film, so okay. to speak. So. Uh, new territory. Yeah. I've been doing guerrilla filmmaking for so long that, you know, this experience has been a train ride, you know. What is Brotherly Love about? <sighs> so many things. Uh, first of all, it's like a love letter to Philadelphia. Oh, very nice. Yeah, okay. it's, uh, it's about three siblings growing up in West Philly, mm -hmm. and two of them attend Overbrook High School. Yes. And the other one is the older brother who takes care of the family. Okay. So it's a, it's, a, it's a story about three siblings trying to make the best way they can in a city that usually doesn't allow that. Right, right. Yeah. And talk about the cast and the, the process, how you picked who you picked. Um, the cast, well, it is amazing. Kiki Palmer yeah. is the lead. Uh, we have Corey Hart Hardrick, who's playing the bigger brother, and okay. a new guy named Eric Hill. Okay. No relation. And um, the process, oh, that was the longest process Ever. It was like a four month casting. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, because we just, I think everybody in Hollywood auditioned for this, everybody under 30. Okay. And it was so many good auditions, so it was a, it was a grueling process, but I think we really picked the best of the bunch. Yeah. yeah. So, what is the tentative release date for Brotherly Love for people to look forward to? Theatrical release around April. April, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah, and I was telling Jamal that's my birthday month, so I definitely wanted to come out in yeah. April. <laughs> you gotta come out, you gotta put that dress on, walk that car. Yes, I it. definitely yeah. will. Um, as director, I just was wondering, are there other directors, writers that you, that maybe one in particular that no matter what genre the film is or anything, it's like yeah. I must see this because it's yeah. that person. Yeah. Um, Who would that be? Martin Scorsese. Ah! Oh, very nice. He's just, but and that's, he's just one of many. Right. But he's the one that sticks out. Okay. And of course, Spike Lee. Of course. Yes. You know, Guy Ritchie, um, Quentin Tarantino. Nice. But Scorsese probably sticks out. Yeah. So do you feel like you study them sometimes in what they do? Yeah. Well, you know, I didn't really go to conventional film school. Right. So I learned a lot of my techniques on, on watching director's commentaries on DVD, the right. actual features. Yeah. So his was one that always stood out. Okay. Um, John Singleton, he has a really good uh, director's commentaries. So I learned a lot from those commentaries. Right. Mm -hmm. um, like you just said, you didn't always do this. You actually were a barber, correct? Yeah. Cut yeah. hair and all of that. Yeah. So what was that day like or what pivotal moment happened in life that made you say, I'm going to go after this? Um, I can pinpoint it to the exact moment. Oh. Yeah. I remember sitting in my bed, I was watching the Oscars. Oh, okay. And Denzel won Best Actor. Right. And I was like, that's it. I gotta, I gotta stop doing this hair thing and jump into what I really need to be doing. Yeah. But what happened was that made me want to act. But when I started acting, it felt like you know I didn't have as much control over the process as I would like to. So I fell in love with the process of making the film. Okay. And I noticed that I liked that more than mm -hmm. I liked acting. Yeah. So. Have you ever met Denzel? Have you had I the pleasure yet? I haven't, no. No, no. I definitely. He's like one of the only ones I haven't met yeah, yet. Yeah, you definitely yeah. need to share that story with him. Yeah. And he's a Capricorn like me. So. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So awesome, awesome. So um, when you think of, I guess, those moments in life, like what is it that you want to do that you hope to accomplish with this career as being a director? What are you trying to accomplish? You know, to be honest, helping other people oh, achieve uh, their goals yeah you know because i remember you know because philadelphia is not an industry town right mm -hmm. it really isn't what happens is a lot of people take from philadelphia and move to new york and la yeah. and things like that but i want to create an entity here in philadelphia that yeah. allows us to express our god-given yeah. talents awesome so yeah. i guess that would be why the name Philavision. yeah yeah no, that's so, exactly what it means yeah my so, vision is from philadelphia so, and what's next after? I mean, what is on the next thing for Jamal Hill? Well, that brotherly love is... is right film. now, I have two things on my plate. For one, I have to finish editing and completing yeah. the Brother yeah. Love project. Um, but next, I have a script called BFFs. Nice. And it's like the black girl sex in the city. We're shooting it in Atlanta. Okay. 
Yep, we're doing that in Atlanta. And then I have a project that I'm teaming up with Jill Scott with. Nice. It's called the Untitled Jill Scott Project right now. Okay. So we're doing something together. Okay, so if someone mm -hmm. wanted to reach out to you to even uh, maybe audition, work on the set, stuff like that, what would be that contact information? Well, there's a few channels. Um, the best way to contact me probably is through Instagram. Yeah. I always respond. To yeah, you do. Instagram. He's very good on Instagram. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which is at Philavision. Yeah, it's at yeah, Philavision. And I guess for acting purposes, it would be whatever casting director I'm, I'm working with at the time. Right, right. Yeah, so right now I'm working with Kim Harding. Kim Harding did uh, Think Like a Man. She did ATL. Okay. She did all those Very nice. pictures. So, oh, yeah. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. <laughs> we also have something in common. We both um, enjoy a glass of wine. Oh, yes. So uh, after yeah. that long day oh, of yeah. filming and all that stuff, what's that wine of your choice uh, that to relax to? I drink Cabernets. I know yeah. you drink white wine. Yes, but I, I drink do. red, so. I like Cabernets. I like uh, specifically Coppola's brand. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I have to try it. Right. I have to try it. Okay, cool, mm -hmm. cool. Okay, so I do something called hashtag Al Al. Uh -oh. I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram. So if you were to post up a picture of some celebrity female, or who's that woman that does it for you that you would hashtag Al Al? Erica Badu. Oh, very yeah, nice. I like Erica Badu. I could see <laughs> That's that. That's my celebrity crush. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Awesome. Well, hopefully yeah. she sees this. Oh, you never know. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, Jamal, thank you so much. Hey, I appreciate definitely, it. Definitely. I, I wish you much, Anytime. much success. Thank I already you. see it, though. Yeah. I already see it. We'll it's see. all in the plan. Thank you. thank you. Awesome. Jamal Hill, everybody. Thank you so much. The Breakthrough with Mia Mendez coming right back with The Detour. That's it for us today on The Detour Show. Next week, have you read it yet? It's not personal, it's P, dot, dot, dot. Hear from real men in this book, Tell All. I'll be joined by author Lolita Kelson. You don't wanna miss it. <laughs> See you then.